Hi, I'm Ramsey Chandler and I'm an art director in the Minerva program. And today I'll be showing you how to create a photo composite using layer masks and blending options. This is the composite that we will be making in this video. And what is a composite, you might be asking? A composite is just a, it's an image made up of multiple images. And so basically we're just going to combine multiple images to make it look as if it was just one. And the way we will be doing this, if you don't know what a layer mask is, it is a way to do non-destructive editing. And non-destructive editing is basically, um, basically it is, you edit out parts of the image you don't want without deleting that information. If at any point you want to bring something back or you want to redo something, it allows you to do so. So instead of going into an image and erasing a part of it, you will be doing it, but in a way that can easily be undone. And you will see when we get into this video more about how that works. So let's start by opening Photoshop and we'll click File New. And then here is what I use. I use 12 by 12, 300 DPI RGB color. So you want to use 300 DPI because it'll give you a higher resolution than just 72 or 150. So definitely click 300 DPI. Now you have your blank template. And what we will do is we will grab a background image and this is the background image that I've selected for this specific composite and we'll scale this out and make it fill the entire uh, canvas. So this is I'm just going to position this to where I like it and right here is about good so I'm going to go with this. And so I'm going to drag this picture of a car into the, the file because I want this car to be in this image. So I'm going to drag this around and then I'm going to scale it until I feel like it seems like it fits in that image. So now with this image, I'm going to use the quick selection tool, which is the fourth tool down in your toolbar. And what you want to do is this will select based off of where it detects edges and you want to make sure that you're in the plus. So you'll see this up in the corner and it's the brush with the circle and there's a plus sign right there. So what you want to do is make sure that you're right there and you want to go and you want to select this out as best as you can and it's okay if you don't get all of the edges. We're just going to do a rough selection right here and then refine it with the brush tool. So now what I've just done is I have created a layer mask. So now once you create a layer mask by hitting the layer mask button in the bottom right corner, it is the rectangle with the circle in it. Now, since you've had you had the car selected with the quick selection tool, it has masked out everything that was not selected. So now you just have the car left. And now we're going to go in to this mask and we're going to make it more refined. And we will do that by using the brush tool. So while using the brush tool to refine a layer mask, what you want to make sure to do is this is the main thing to keep in mind. White reveals, black conceals. So whatever you paint black on, you will remove it from where you can see it on the canvas. And if you paint with white, then it will reveal the image wherever you paint. So to keeping that in mind, let's hit your slash key on your keyboard and it will bring up this red background to help you um, see where all of the edges of the specific mask is. Now, let's zoom in and we are going to hit the brush tool, make sure that it's the right size. We're going to, we want this to, the hardness to be up so it's not super soft. And make sure that you are on the layer mask and not the image so you don't paint on the image. So now let's turn the opacity all the way up so we can see it and use black 
to remove. So th what you will see me doing is basically going over the edges of this and painting out what I don't want to be seen with white and black. Okay, now that I have gotten all the edges that I want to be seen done, we are going to go back and let a little of the bottom show through so it blends a little better with the layer below. So what, how we're going to do that is we're going to go with the brush tool on the layer mask. We're going to turn the hardness down and make the brush super soft. And we're going to turn the opacity down and the flow down. Now we're going to make the brush bigger and we're going to make sure that it's um, white and we're going to let some of the bottom of this image show up, not all the way and not at full opacity. And we just want it to be nice and soft so it can blend in that background image. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I want to scale this image up because I want the car to be a little closer and so I'm going to just select both of the layers that I have, the background and the car, and I'm just going to scale them up a little bit. So now that I have the car masked out the way that I would like it to be and it feels like it's more in this environment, in this background image, we are going to go and use some adjustment layers to make it look like it actually is in that scene and match how the background image looks. So we're going to go up here and we are going to click curves. Now we want this to be a little more contrasted and darker and so we're going to do that with the curves tool and just drag it until it feels like it matches the contrast and like the shadows are, this, are very similar to the background image. So now that we have the curves, we are going to do a hue saturation adjustment layer and we're going to make sure that it is only being seen on the car layer. So basically this, I did this on the curves level as well, but the square with the arrow pointing down means that it will only apply to the layer that it is, it is pointing to. They will only be applied to the layer with the car and not the background. You want to make sure that you do that so it doesn't affect the whole entire image. So now we are going to go up and we are going to saturate this car because I want it to be a little more red. And with this, you can literally make the car any color that you want by just dragging it. But I'm going to keep it red because I really like the red and I'm going to just make it a more saturated color. And I will also be going to this layer mask because there are certain areas that I don't want it to be on, like the wheels. So I only want it to be on the body of the car. So I am going to fill this layer mask with black and paint in white only on the areas that I want this super saturated color to show up. So here I am painting the body of the car, the only areas that are the red, because I only want those to be saturated. I don't want any other part of this image to be saturated. So once you get done with this, you can go ahead here, I'll show you, you can go down and you can click the eye on and off to see how that, that has affected. And I might just bump the saturation up a little more and I like that. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now I want to add snow tracks in this snow down here and I want to make it look like someone has left this car and just walked away. So I'm going to drag in this image of some snow tracks and I'm going to put them on top of the background and below the car because I want it to look like it's coming out from the other side of the car. And so this image will come out from, it looks like it will come out behind it. So I'm going to scale this down until I am happy with the way that it looks. And I will click layer mask because I'm going to mask out the parts of this image that I do not want to show up. So I'll be on in black with my brush tool and I'm just going to mask out what parts of this image I don't want to show up. Some fun tools is 
When you're toggling between the black and white on your brush tool, you can hit X on your keyboard and it will just automatically switch it for you instead of manually doing it. That's what I'm doing here. So once you get to a point where you feel good about it, we're going to click this and hit blending options, which is right over here um, at the top of your layers menu panel. And I am going to go and hit soft light. And see, it's a slight effect where it makes it more blended into that background layer. So what we're going to do is I want to be able to see this more and so I'm going to duplicate the layers this is just a, a way that I like to do things um, so once I, I'm going to duplicate the layers by doing hitting command J on your keyboard and I'm going to do th make it three layers and I'm going to take the top layer and we'll see I'm gonna look at pin light let's see no I want to go up to see what screen does it makes it lighter let's go to multiply and we are going to turn the opacity down on this one since it's a little too dark and make it just a little more defined than it was with the soft light so now I'm going to group these three layers and I'm going to hit the hue saturation adjustment layer and I'm going to turn the saturation down so that snow area blends in more with this snow okay so now what we're going to do is I really would like to have some clouds in this. So I'm going to click the background layer and I'm going to drag in this image of some clouds and I'm going to scale it up about where I want it to be. So I think right there is about pretty good. So I'm going to do that and hit layer masks. And I'm going to take the brush and do black and turn the opacity up and I'm going to mask out what I don't want to see. So I'm just gonna brush this a little and I kinda of want it to look like these clouds are spilling out from a mountain near there. So we're gonna scale this, I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and drag it out a little bit. Just I just want it to look like it's more in that scene. And I'm just gonna drag it a little more and that looks about good, so I'm gonna go with that. So now what I would really love is to make it look like it is snowing. So I'm going to take this image of, I'll go, go scroll to the top of your layers and I'm going to take this image of some, it's like a gravelly texture. And I'm going to scale it up and cover the entire image with it. And I think I'm going to make it a little smaller so it looks a little more detailed and what we will be doing is we're going to make it look like snow. And how, you might ask, we are going to make this soft light. And it looks a little odd right now, but this is what we're going to go with. And you're going to go up to filter and go scroll down to blur and hit sh motion blur. Now on, it'll pull up this menu panel on how you do it. And you can just scroll through this thing and it'll, you get to choose the angle of the blur. And this is, I don't like it going down, so I'm going to go with it go, coming from the side. Now, down here, you can choose the distance of this. This is way too much. Let's go down a little bit. Um, that's getting closer there. So this is a, makes it look a little like you just took an image and there's a lot of snow flying around. So we're going to go with this. And we're going to turn the opacity down just so it's not too much. Well... Now that I'm looking, I want a little more snow on the bottom part of the image. So I'm going to Command J, duplicate that layer again, and I'm going to layer mask this layer and just mask it out of the top half of the image. I just want it to be mainly where, you know, the car and the snow is, not necessarily on the clouds and the trees. And that looks good. So yeah, that's about it. And there you have it. You have the finished composite image. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on how to create a photo composite. Thanks for watching.